Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's have CC again today. I just, you know, I'm coming at y'all today. And I'm sad and I'm really sad. And I have just found out that Nacogdoches County has got so many federal lawsuits and state lawsuits. Like I'm just going to go through a few of them with you. The sheriff of Nacogdoches County, Texas, himself, has a federal lawsuit, ladies and gentlemen. This is out of hand here. This place is out of hand. I myself have been gang stomped, harassed, group harassments, uh, organized group harassments, and just found out. You know, I I, I have uh, had dealings uh, with some very shady, very shady dealings with these folks. And I have personally seen, my family has personally seen, many credible witnesses have personally seen and have been documented. Private investigators working on it. Uh, matter of fact, there's some stuff. Uh, let me move this over here so we can get that out of the way. I, I just want to give a hats off to, if you're considering, if you're thinking... If you're thinking about moving to Nacogdoches, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, or sending your kids to school here, you might want to keep this number in your pocket because there's so much. Uh, these are just the federal lawsuits, uh, and they're not all of them. That's not all of them. I mean, look, that one right there is just, that's a book. That's a book. That's against the sheriff and the DA of Nacogdoches County. This one right here is about covering up uh, Nacogdoches County sued to reveal insurance costs related to jail violence. I mean, when you get... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's see. Release. Law firm files federal suit against Texas County for refusing to identify uniformed officer recorded choking a young black man. This is this place right here. I just don't know if it's safe anymore. Oh my God! Look at this. This is this is amazing. This, I mean, how much taxpayers' money is being spent on these laws? Here's one. This is this one right here alone. Thirteen million dollars. Damn. Thirteen million claims against Texas County for unlicensed criminal prosecutor. Unlicensed practicing without a law, ladies and gentlemen. A Nacogdoches, Texas law firm, Paul Anderson, way to go, Mr. Anderson, has filed a 13, that ain't 1.3 million, that's 13 million, against the county of Nacogdoches, Texas, alleging mismanagement and negligent hiring. Oh. I mean, wait, well, y'all ain't heard the good one yet, the good one's over here. Yeah, the good one's coming up. Yeah, the good one's coming up. Yeah, the good one's coming up. Let's see. Press release. Mr. Anderson. Sounds like on the Matrix, don't it? Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson's a good man. He believes in justice. Nacogdoches Law Firm files three more lawsuits exposing unlicensed district attorney. I wonder if each one of those is going to be $13 million apiece. Who's paying this insurance bill? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, whoo. Do they even have insurance? Can they even afford it anymore? Paul Anderson, attorney. Federal lawsuit filed against Nacogdoches County officials for illegally recording attorney client jail calls and sharing privileged information. <laughs> wow. Wow. Federal charge. Federal charge. All these are federal charges, lady. I mean, they're just... Do y'all want to go through them all? I mean, do you want to go through them all? We'll go through, through a few more. But then we're going to get over here on this one. I don't want to waste too much of your time today. This is Nacogdoches County. This is current. Current. This is not including any state charges. These are the current federal charges standing against the, the, the place. I mean, I'm telling you. If you got kids, uh, I'm not even going to go there again. But uh, I, I'd keep this man's uh, number 
in your book because uh, you know I used to be in college and I used to get out and do a little partying it's what college kids do sometimes and if you get tangled up with the wrong organization here I mean you know what I'm saying all right Paul Anderson Peel attorney at law uh, what well, we got here? Protective order seeks to prohibit releasing video of assault on disabled man by sheriff's <laughs> deputy. Seeks to prohibit releasing the video. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, that video I have heard from several sources is on Facebook. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna get. We ain't got. We just ain't got time to go through each one of these. I'm not even gonna try. Like I said, there's, it goes on and on. Man dies in the jail, you know. Nacogdoches County Sheriff Deputy added to excessive force lawsuit for filing false report. I mean, what is going on down there? What are these guys doing? Who is responsible for these taxpayer dollars that's being... I mean, we got district attorneys that's practicing without a license. We got lawsuit after lawsuit, federal, state. Let's look at this one. Let's see what this is about. This is a, I mean, this is a book here. I mean, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it nearly tore my printer up trying to print it out. We got a United States District Court, Eastern District of Texas, Lufkin Division. I think that's the federal court. Paul V. Anderson, individual, and Brandon Fincham, individual. Those are the plaintiffs. Nacogdoches County's Attorney's Office and John Fleming in his official capacity. Nacogdoches County Sheriff's Office and Jason Bridges, that is the county sheriff. In his official capacity, Nacogdoches County District Attorney's Office and Andrew Jones. Man, that's a lot of people tied up in this one. In his official capacity, defendants. So you got the plaintiffs up here. You got Mr. Fincham. He was in jail. And uh, Mr. Fincham uh, suffered some illegal uh, recording by the sheriff of his privileged and private conversation to his attorney they took that information and used it as it says in the lawsuit to commit uh, citizens harm now we can go on down I'm a judge of the court and Sheriff Jason Bridges now here we go let's just read some of this complaint against County of Nacogdoches, Texas, John Fleming and the Sheriff Jason Bridges in his official capacity as Nacogdoches County Sheriff and the County District Attorney's Office. Statement of the case. The Supreme Court ruled up, John, okay, they're going to give you some uh, background stuff right there that it is illegal for them to be recording and using uh, that information. They shouldn't even be listening to it. It's none of their business. Uh, you know, uh, I had a conversation on with a young lady over at my house, and uh, six hours later, that conversation was posted on Facebook, nearly word for word, some of it, and I was the only one tagged in it. I turned that conversation, it had a death threat, two possible death threats, one saying something about me going to the hospital, the other one was a straight uh, death threat saying, DAs, won't you dead? And I turned that into the district attorney's office six times, I think it was. Uh, phone calls, uh, emails, never got one thing back. That's another thing in these lawsuits, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's another thing that the good district attorney of Nacogdoches County, Texas, has been charged for as well. I'm not going to dig out all these lawsuits, but these are the current ones. These are the current ones. It says, Mr. Brandon Finchin, a custodial inmate of Nacogdoches County, Texas jail called his attorney from a jail telephone to discuss his case the inmate and his attorney had absolute attorney client relationship at the time of the wiretapping wiretapping by the county of Nacogdoches sheriff office the call was recorded and its confidential contents shared with others hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah that's kind of like that thing that happened in my house huh yeah, they had my place bugged. The next thing I know, it's on the dead gum Facebook. That confidential information was then used to harm the plaintiff. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have to go on? I mean, is that not enough? This, this lawsuit seeks to stop the Nacogdoches County Sheriff, the sheriff, 
not the uh, sheriff's department, the sheriff, from illegally recording attorneys' confidential calls from the Nacogdoches County Jail and unlawfully it's closing those recordings to prosecutors and third parties. That's what happened to me. Third parties get my information instantly and to stop prosecutors from illegally <laughs> prosecuting. There we go, Mr. Jones again, from illegally using those recordings to harm citizens. To harm citizens. Citizens. Cid am I a citizen? Yes, I am. Are there lots of other people I've seen this? Yes, yes. Somebody needs to do something about this. That's about all I'm going to say about this, ladies and gentlemen. We got something over here. We got uh, we got more over there. I'm not getting to all the stuff. We got more over here. These are just a few of the top ones. Uh, you be the judge. Or we'll just let the federal judge be the judge and see how this goes. But uh, you know what they told me one time? If you wasn't doing something wrong, you wouldn't be charged.